Hi everyone, Deb here. Um, doing the case of card that should have gone up on June 5th at noon. So I'm sorry I'm late. I know that uh, Ink with Heather um, participated and she got hers up. And so I apologize, Heather. Don't think anyone else is participating, but I could be wrong. Anyway, it's an open kind of collab. And we just case a card from a current Stampin' Up! catalog. So this is the... Um, January to June mini. It, it, it runs out June 30th of 2022, so pretty soon. And I chose this. Now this, I don't think is a card. I think it's actually uh, either an envelope book or a box. Um, and they've tied the ribbon around the whole thing. And then they did this, um, which I haven't done one of these in a while, rosette. This looks like it was die cut out of a gray vellum, but I didn't have a gray vellum, so I used um, gray paper. I did do, <laughs> not a very good job, but I did do a rosette. And what I did, because this looks like craft, I did back, um, well, what I used is, let me just step back. I used the Memories and more cards and envelopes. This was the last annual catalog. I believe these carried over to the new. Uh, I'm not sure what page number they'd be on for the 22-23. You'd have to check the website and see. But they are memories and more cards. So there's an envelope. So there's four by six cards that fit four by six and cards that fit um, the smaller uh, three by four memories and more cards. And I like the 4 by 6 size, um, especially. The other ones are nice for like little gift cards or something. So I used one of those. I used the Crane of Fortune bundle, which is retiring. Uh, the only thing out of the stamp set I used was the Wishing You a Lifetime of Happiness and a World Full of Love. It's my favorite sentiment out of there. Although, well, this one's nice too. Um, and I used the die cut... No, I didn't. I had the fussy cut. I'm sorry. I didn't use the dies at all. Okay, and then I did also use the 6x6 six six craft card paper. It is thicker than, um, it's like a stiffer, it's craft. So I used a sheet, a sheet of that, 6x6. Six six. This is what I have left out of that sheet. And I used um, Smoky Slate card stock and Smoky Slate um no, I'm sorry, I used gray granite, actually. Shimmer ribbon. I thought it was smoky slate. Now, I'm going to give you an alternative to this if you don't like to make rosettes, because I found it was really kind of hard on my hands. Oh, I don't know if I showed. I used the layering circles. I did what they did here. And I also used um, the Banner Pick-A-Punch, 153608. And this is retired, but I used two one and a half inch circles from the circle punch. But you don't see those because they're on either the front and the back of the rosette to get it to hold together. Um, so let me put these aside and then I'll show you the card I made. It pretty much looks like, I think, like the catalog. So this is the card. And now, if you don't like to make rosettes, bring out your doilies. These are from the Heart and Home. And this upside down one is basic gray. So originally I was thinking, well, maybe I could just do the basic gray in the background with a white scallop on top. And that would work too, and it wouldn't have so much dimension. So it actually might be better for a card. But this I fussy cut out of the Crane of Fortune paper, which is retiring. I think that's what it's called. Um, one sec. Symbols of Fortune designer series paper. Symbols of Fortune. And that, if it's still available, I'm not sure because it's while supplies last. Um, but I'm holding on to that because I like it. And I use Smoky Slate. Um, oh gosh. So let me think. So these cards are. Uh, four and a half by six and a half. So I think I used four and three eighths by 
six and something. And then I just took it down an eighth inch and then eighth inch. So this one I think is actually ends up being like four, four by six or four and an eighth by six and eighth of the designer paper. Then this is from a piece of 12 by 12 uh, white cardstock. I actually think it's left over from the basic white that I mean, um, whisper white that I had. And then I don't have the Stampin' Up! scoreboard, but I scored it at um, every quarter inch. And it looks like these two here across from each other got flattened out somehow, probably when I was gluing. I did use hot glue and I took the one and a half inch circle. I used my uh, silicone mat comes in very handy put some glue hot glue down be very careful and then put this into a circle and push it onto the hot glue and hold it there for a little while with the top uh, circ um, one and a half inch circle okay and you just push it down make sure you have enough glue on there that it comes up kind of through the center of this and then once that cools, you take it off and flip it over, put a little more hot glue on the, on the bottom and attach the other circle. And then that's what I use to glue this whole thing onto the card with just uh, liquid glue. I tried using tear and tape on this and because of the ridges, it didn't really stay. So I don't recommend the tear and tape or glue dots to attach this. And before I attached this whole component, um, I wrapped the gray granite ribbon around the whole mat set. So the smoky slate, the craft, and the designer paper. And tied a bow over here on the side because they had a side bow here. Now they, looks like stamped on Calypso coral with um, maybe basic gray or something. I didn't want to do that. And how they did that, I will tell you though, is they masked uh, so that they could just get the love, the happiness, and the fortune. So they stamped it by masking off all the rest of this uh, and stamped three times. Or they stamped it, both of them, once and then just fussy cut them. It actually kind of looks like that to me. But you could use the new masking paper that Stampin' Up! has. Um, and that's number 155480. There's 12 sheets of 5x7 masking paper. I have not tried that yet. I just got it. So we'll try that pretty soon. Um, and I didn't do anything yet on the inside, but probably what I'm going to do is at least put um, a basic, I mean a smoky slate and a craft layer and another white layer. And because I like the inside to be as substantial as the back, see, because otherwise it topples. Now this would not be something you could mail through the, the postage without extra postage. So this would have to be something like on top of gift box or something like that. Okay. And oh, and this, um, this is three quarter inch. So this is a little over three quarter. I don't think it's quite an inch, but I just had that strip left actually. There it is. This is the end of it, I think. So let's see how wide that is. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it's just under, it's like 1 in 15 sixteenths. So, you, I mean, um, it's 15 sixteenths inch. You could, might as well just say 1. I don't know how I ended up with a piece that size, but I did. Um, and then I just made it the width of the card and then used the banner punch to do that. This I glued down. I did put one um, mini dimensional on its feet to hook it onto here. And I used three, these are the retired metallic pearls that come in silver and gold and I just put gold ones on. And there's actually three dragonflies, but I buried one. So there's two visible that I fussy cut also. All from the same sheet of paper, which looks like um, this. So you can see the dragonflies, the cranes. Um, which are a little tricky to fussy cut, but I did it. The crane here is a little bit smaller than the one that you can stamp. A little bit different shape, but you could also stamp and die cut the crane also. 
Um, and you may want to do that in gold embossing powder as well. And then it'll have some little white spot or something like that. I don't know. I haven't tried doing that in gold embossing powder. So it's a really nice set to have. It's something different than the norm that I do. And uh, I'm okay with it. I think for mailing, I think I actually prefer the doily. But I, I just wanted to try, and it took me several tries. Um, this is a 12 inch by one and a half inch wide strip. I tried wider. I couldn't get it to go together at all. And actually, I'm disappointed. I, I'm seeing this now that it flattened out. Um, and it actually is starting to... No, it's not tearing. That's where the seam is. So I was trying to put the ribbon so that it would cover that little bit there. <laughs> anyway, you know, that's what it is. So that's my case of card. And I'll be back soon with some uh, masculine cards. And I hope you enjoy don't forget if you get um, stifled for ideas, you know, you, you can't come up with anything, look to your catalogs. Go online. If you don't have a catalog, go online to their website and browse the products. And then they usually, for most things, have pictures of what's in the catalog next to those items on the website. So check that out too. All right, guys, if anybody's interested in buying anything, Last chance products this month through the end of June while supplies last. Here's my host code for the month of June. It's the F6X, F6XTTH74. Only good through June 30th because I have to close it out at the end of June. Um, and they're only good for 30 days. So uh, for any order under 150 for any last chance product, use that code, please. Okay. Thank you. Bye for now.